Project Wild is a national or actually an international program um, to help teachers integrate wildlife and conservation education into their curriculum. And I um, have used owl pellets for a long, long time. I use them to train um, teachers and I'm always amazed how many teachers have never seen owl pellets. So they're very excited to use them in their classrooms after they take our workshops. It's just one more way to get kids excited about what they're learning and you can read, you can write, you can do all kinds of things with, with owl pellets. It's not just the science of it. The, you know, you can talk about habitat and you can talk about adaptations and you can talk about the bone structure and you can talk about which animals live where and all of that kind of stuff, but that's just a small part of it. There are little hidden treasure kits. I mean, what you'll never know what you're going to find. I can remember one time when I was a sixth grade teacher, they found bird feet in there, and the kids were like over the top excited about that. I don't care how many times you tell a fourth grader that owls upchuck this, they think they're playing an owl poop. I was an English teacher, and so uh, we would, you know, do 15 minutes of dissecting owl pellets, and then um, the kids had to write poems for the rest of the 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 period. Here are some of the poems that sixth graders, and these are from many, many years ago, um, wrote in my class. Pellets. Furry, fuzzy, bone-shaped like tater tots. Ripping, tearing, dissecting, and washing hands. Feeling totally disgusted and thinking gross. Nuggets. And then we have Owl Upchuck. Having, are moving cautiously, being nauseous, picking apart, not any place to start having no guess what is in this mess, owl pellets. And I have one more, these were little boy poems, they're pretty cute. Owl pellets, dirty, bony, dissecting and tearing, the pellet felt funny and hard, treasure. <laughs>